So hello again, a new day, a new project. I want to present you my best ever transistor tester. This is an M8 version 12864. This uh, transistor tester came like a kit. So you have to do it yourself to have all the resistors and all the other parts over here to put them together, solder nice. And of course, doing all the checks afterwards and so on but you can see i already put this together now let me have the display in place this is based on atmega 328 what's nice about we have a 7550 over here right this one and this is a voltage regulator so we can use a power supply until 20 volts so we can use the power supply between 9 and 12 volts. I'm using one of these little polymer batteries. So this runs for months. Everything is fine over here. I checked the voltages and so on. Let me have the display in place. Let's power it on. Yes, it's working. Let's uh, wait for turning off. Okay, so all the things are together now. The power is on and we're going to start with a self test and calibration. How are we going to do that? We have to press the button for two seconds and we have to use one of these m wires and to connect in between number one two and three from the tester there we go and to push the button more than two seconds and we go to self-test menu there we go so the test is starting. Okay, I'm going to take this out. The test continues. Now we have to put a capacitor inside for calibration never use electrolytic capacitor and also you have to check for the capacitors to be discharged okay just short the pins like i did so let's have this capacitor 047 microfarads and that's it so now the machine is ready for doing the job okay let's turn it off and let's start with some simple tasks. I'm going to have a diode over here. And it's working. Doesn't really matter the way you put the parts because they are adapting the tester. It's adapting to the, to the voltages. So now it's connected between pin one and pin three. And we have the plus over here. Super. So that was a diode. Let me see. What is this? And MOSFET transistor. Oh, it's a P MOSFET transistor. Look there. What is this about? So when you measure transistor, be sure that the pin two it's over there. So you can't use it here or here. It have to be with pin one, pin two, it's a single pin here in the middle. So this is a NPN transistor, classic NPN, very nice. And let me have a diode that I think this is a center diode. We're going to have plus here normally. Yeah, plus is over here. So there's a diode. It's a great little machine, I can tell you. Okay, let's have a capacitor. Very nice. This is 2400. So this is 2401. The one we tested before is 047 micro. 500 nano. ASR, ASR equivalent serial resistance 0.38 ohms. Let me have an electrolytic. Like I said before, be sure the electrolytic capacitor is discharged because if we apply a voltage here, then the tester is gone. Well, 
857 microfarads. This should be 1000. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Question mark. And let me have a smaller one, a smaller electrolytic. 34.78. 30, and this is a 33, I think. Yeah, right. Okay. So it's working very nice. Let me try a coil, an inductance, in fact. In between pin two and three. Oh, there we are. 7.61 millihenry. And one like this, 1.01. Like I said, it's a really great machine. Okay, over here behind, we have a, we have a tester point. We have a connection point where we can connect and test frequencies. I don't have a proper frequency generator, but I can take 1000 Hertz square wave from this oscilloscope. So we have the ground over there and we have the measuring point over here. And let's see, we should have, that's pretty accurate. So all I know that uh, this can go even up to 20 megahertz of counting the frequency counter and this is really nice then let's go to frequency generator and i'm going to use my little oscilloscope to check if it's true or not and there we go so we have pin 2 and pin 3 over here and we have a square wave of, let me have it a little bit higher, 50 hertz, of course. Let's go 100, yep. So this is generating square waves, 250 hertz, yes, 250, it's there. 441, let's go higher, 200, oh, 2000. 500 hertz, of course, 25 kilohertz. And of course, this little oscilloscope is getting dizzy. 50, and we already reached. And if we go to 250, we can see that it's something there. It doesn't measure anymore, but we still have over there a attempt, an attempt of measuring the frequency, 252. Okay, so, then it can go even farther, like one megahertz, two megahertz, 1000 millihertz, <laughs> 10 hertz, 50 hertz, and so on. So the frequency generator, it's working great. Let's test the pulse modulation function now. So it's working with seven kilohertz, and then we can adjust the duty cycle, we go to 20, 27, 40, and you can see the duty cycle to almost full. Okay, back 10 bit, here we go. And we are now 50, 50, look at the wave. That's a rotary encoder. You can use it for sending signals. That's for the extra functions. We have a really great one over here. Measuring capacitor and the equivalent serial resistance on the board. So we have tester number one over here and we have tester number two, the other side. Of course, maybe I should have some proper testers, but let's say I have this capacitor over here. You can see it. Let's try to measure it on the board. 0.14, but 0.23 for this one over here. So now let's take it out from the board and see the results. Yes. 
0.13. Perfect match. So uh, measuring electrolytic capacitor on the boards, it's perfect. Like I said before, M8 version 12864. I think it's the, the best transistor tester I ever had. It's very cheap. It's fun to put together. It's easy to put together in the same time. And I may say it's working very nice and it's very useful on uh, any hobbyist bench. Thank you for now. I'll be back with some other projects. If you have any question, don't hesitate to ask. Please subscribe. Give me a, a hand with that. And I'll be back soon. In the meantime, be safe and don't forget to have fun. Bye bye.